Good morning world. It is a leisurely start to the day. Eden's having a little sleep. I'm happy to announce that we think the mystery of the rat in the ceiling has been solved. I take Jane organised for June June to come up here and fix the netting on the roof and remove the rats that were in the ceiling. So apparently three of them came out. Don't know how long they've been in there for, but I haven't heard any noises in the house since, which is a good thing. Really bright and sunny today. Look, it's only eight o'clock in the morning. There's the horizon and the sun is already all the way up there. Eden woke me up bright and early at about 6.30 and I saw a little bit of the sunrise for a little Eden walk, it's quite nice. I'm looking forward to her new harness arriving so we can take her for longer walks and enjoy Eden more like a dog rather than someone that you're just taking care of. She's a bit high maintenance at the moment but once we have the right equipment and tools I think we can enjoy having her company a lot better like the old days. Just yesterday on our Facebook memories we saw a really cute picture of Sasha, me and Eden at an interview at a TV studio in Thailand. It was seven years ago now that that picture was taken. Eden looks like a little puppy and she was already seven years old at that point and people considered her an old dog already. And after looking at that pic, I just said to Sasha, look at the things that we've done so far, you know? We could have had a very ordinary life, but we chose to do something a little bit crazy and the experiences that have followed have been well worth it. Let me show you something that just arrived in the post. I ordered a new part for Biddy the other day. Look how beautiful this is. <laughs> Titanium burnt tip exhaust pipe. The one that's on the car is falling off anyway and I wanted to get something fun. But one thing that I'm amazed by is that I ordered this five days ago and it's arrived already. Now by Amazon standards, that's pretty slow, but here on the island, that is epic lazardering. Five days. I was actually shocked when it turned up so fast. So if anybody's looking for parts, I'm gonna show this guy because I'm so impressed at how quickly they ship this thing out. JMP Motor Accessories. That is the fastest service I've had my whole time I've been here in the Philippines. Well done. Not sponsored, just impressed. <laughs> so I'll be fitting that in a few days once I've got the clamps. So I have a job to do. The hook, finally got it. This will be going, actually this is gonna go on the rope and this will be going on here. And then we will have our hanging chair quick release system so we can pull this thing down whenever it rains. Four <laughs> steps. Yeah, look how high up he is. He could have gone on a really high tree. Yeah, that's Kuya Jun Jun. He's getting the coconuts down so it doesn't fall on your swing. Look at this, Mgui. Amazing. So high up. I wish you guys could get the scale of how tall this tree is. Do you think you'll ever be able to climb that high one day, Story? Yeah. You need lots of practice. Yeah. Lifelong practice, I, I think. Need to go Cutting down the old leaves as well. That'd be very good. Clear up the space and we can drink all these yummy coconuts as well. Share them with the whole family. There's so many to eat. You can actually see the tree swaying with Jun Jun up there. <laughs> it's kind of scary. You see the blades coming out now. Time to chop. Better that this stuff comes down this way than falling on our heads. Story safely under the shade there by the house. Whee! It's always fun to watch. I don't know why, but I always have this assumption that everybody here can just climb a tree like this. It's definitely not true because everywhere seems to have their like dedicated coconut guy. <laughs> somebody who can climb the tree, somebody who's been doing it, is a bit fearless. And here, Jun Jun is our guy. There you go, my swing attachment is passing the Jun Jun test. He just walked from one tree to the other, across my beam, and then it's up this tree to get the coconuts off the next one. Good morning! So I've just brought up the breakfast. It's looking like Jay has finished his swing seat task. Just trying it out. Looks nice and relaxing. <laughs> we do still need to get a cushion for the inside. Yeah. I feel like we need some kind of shade here as well. Yeah, we definitely do. Because morning or afternoon, it's like there's always sun here. Yeah. Even unless you were here at like sunrise, you would always get blasted by sun. 
actually later on in the daytime you do get shade from here when the sun starts going behind the house it casts a big shadow across here but that is later on and yeah it's never guaranteed that you're going to have a nice shady spot also around the side of the house it can be more shady as well but i have set up breakfast right here <laughs> in the one little patch of shade that we do have breakfast today consists of french press coffee and then under here we have a freshly made sourdough loaf made with oat flour and i also put some pumpkin seeds in there too some jackfruit jam peanut butter warm soy milk and some dates just because i wanted to add a little extra and we didn't really have much in the cupboard <laughs> sourdough or soda bread soda bread soda bread okay what did I say? You said sourdough. Oh, did I? Did you make your own cultures? Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. Soda bread. That is what I meant. It's super quick and easy. Just takes half an hour to cook. You don't need to do any kneading or anything like that. You just need to... I made a buttermilk using soy milk and apple cider vinegar. And you put that inside, leave it for five minutes, and you've got an instant buttermilk. Look how artistic this lighting looks. The coconut fronds making that grid pattern over the food it's a perfect it's pretty, isn't it? perfect shadow shot isn't it yeah. <laughs> tropical breakfast yeah in our stock photography days this would have been the perfect opportunity so when we first moved abroad to thailand that's what we did for money we would basically set up food shots in tropical locations or we'd go to cafes and we'd buy like a smoothie and we'd put it by a i don't know some somewhere that looked like a picture you'd want to buy and then we'd upload those pictures onto a stock photography website and sell them for royalties. Actually, in all honesty, we still make some money from doing that. We do have our stock photography library still online, but since then we have other things too, like our jewelry store, and now we do YouTube as well. So we haven't really maintained our iStock library for a long time. I think that's one bit of vital advice I would give to anybody who's thinking of working remotely or working online. That's that your job will never stay the same. Over the last decade, we've changed roles, I'd say about five times. So the ways that we have made our income have completely evolved. We still use camera equipment for everything. So there's normally one binding factor, but you have to be ready and willing to change. Otherwise it won't work. Story's doing a little bit of school, learning how to write today. We've been refocusing on our letters and alphabet recently. Story has shown quite a big interest in wanting to read and we always focus on what she's currently most interested in. One thing I noticed yesterday when I was teaching Story is that she's much better at recognising uppercase characters than lowercase so we were focusing on writing different letters and then looking through her simple books like the books that we would have given away because we thought they were too babyish for her and now what we're doing is we're giving those books back to her so she can practice reading them and recognize the characters on the page i can smell the coffee by the sea how magical the smell of the sea and the smell of coffee at the same time yeah. and this lovely breeze we've got today oh is that your writing yeah. well done good job so we just wrote the word flower did you learn the word flower Mm. Pokemon is the one that mum teaches me. Yeah. And small ones are the ones that I did. You did by yourself, yeah? Oh, nice. I'm trying to fit things like she just kind of writes letters, letters really big, and then it, like, you have to go underneath in one, with one word, so like, the word gets cut off. So I asked her to practice writing smaller <laughs> so it fit on the same line. <laughs> so, what, you did this one first, Story? Yeah. And then you did this one better, yeah? Yeah. Nice job homemade bread review this is lovely what do you think of its story good a lot good a lot <laughs> <laughs> it's very good very tasty it's got oat flour in it and pumpkin seeds it's delicious well done good work <laughs> i like pumpkin seeds i like pumpkin seeds too if he's joined us what have you done poor eden help me i'm trapped shave me Thank you! <laughs> What's Eden doing? You put her in jail. Can you get me out of jail, please? Bob! Aww, oh, poor girl. Hmm? I'm too old for this. <laughs> you think Eden likes that? Eden, do you like it, Eden? It's very, very interesting. I don't think I've ever been in a chair before. Not like this. I bet you wish that was in the shade, don't you, Eden? 
All right, let's get her out of the sun, okay? Should we get her out of the sun? Bean has fallen fast asleep in the other house, so I've brought some rope over to finish a story's swing. I'm sweating buckets, even I've brought the fan out here to uh, see if we can reduce the temp, but no, it is just one of those days. Eden doesn't seem to have a care in the world lying there, so I won't bother her. She's got a nice breeze going on. Just finished up with the power tools, so let's show you how it looks. I'm definitely getting better at tying knots, but I wish I had bought a better rope. This really feels horrible on your hands. So here's a good example of one of my knots here. That one came out quite well. And this is looking pretty solid too. I have embraced it to the other side. And this is a bit of extra rope that needs to come off as soon as I'm sure this is steady. And I'll show you the test. I may look like a curly, ridiculous mess right now, but I'm quite a proud dad to have put this up. I hope Story really enjoys it. I'm gonna give it a few more test runs, make sure everything's solid. I have noticed that the knots slide upwards because of the slipperiness of the material, but they can't go anywhere based on the knot that I've used. That brace tie, which was mostly just for show, has moved all the way up there, as you can see. So I'm gonna undo that and just cut off the excess. But let's see if Story enjoys it. Here she comes. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah? This looks a bit better, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it works. I think it's good to make it a bit lower. I can't make it a bit lower because then you'll hit the tree, but you can climb the tree from this side. It's going to take some practice, but as you get taller, this will get really easy. <laughs> you on? That's it, getting adjusted. Right in the centre. Ready, go. <laughs> We've got a swing. I can see the rat from here. It's amazing. Can you can see the rat on the roof. I think the rat's gone now. How does it feel, Story, to have your own swing? Yeah? Yeah. What about the ocean breeze? Nice. <laughs> well done, Daddy. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, Mummy's first test. Three, two, one, go. How's it feel? Alright, solid. Yeah? I was on there, swinging away, so it should be right for all of us. <laughs> Very, very satisfying. I'm glad I got this finished. What a perfect place to swing as well. <laughs> Sasha's just taking a few pictures of Story on the swing. I'm a very happy dad right now that we got that finished. I'm going to end today's video. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.